You clicked on this video because it's a guide on how you can learn the piano as a music producer. And I'm going to assume that you want to make better sounding beats um, and better sounding melodies. And you believe that learning how to play the piano is going to help you to do that. Well, I'm going to tell you the truth right now. It absolutely does. When you know how to play the piano as a music producer, you just open up different possibilities when making beats. You come up with chord progressions faster, you come up with harmony faster, you know, your workflow becomes more efficient when you know how to play uh, an instrument, not only the piano, uh, in, in, as a music producer. I know most of you are going to say that there are so many producers who make good beats without knowing how to play an instrument. But I just want to tell you this, you are not everybody. Um, you are not everybody at all. And if you're taking this seriously, although, although if you're taking, if you're doing it for fun, if you're doing it for fun, yeah, sure. You don't need to learn an instrument, you don't need to improve yourself. But if you know you want to take this music stuff serious, you need to learn an instrument. You need to learn an instrument as a music producer. You know, you can learn two, um, guitar and piano, you can learn on the piano. Um, just imagine that you're in a session with Beyonce. And she says, oh, let's start something from scratch. Are you going to be clicking the piano roll and all that? No. You should be able to come up with chord progressions on your piano, play it for her. And anyone she likes, then you start building from there. Start building a bit from there. That's how most producers do who play instruments. Like you saw in the title, um, this is going to be a no bullshit guide on how to learn um, the piano. There are so many, so many tutorials online on how to um, play or how to learn the piano but i think most of them are are for classical musicians you know but as a music producer you don't need to learn most of the things they're teaching with just the basics you'll be all right because if you check the top 10 songs on spotify most of them are made with basic chord progressions so let's begin there are three things you need to know skills chords and chord progression and there's going to be a bonus tip at the end to keep you motivated when practicing uh, the piano. So let's start with skills. Firstly, what are skills? Uh, I'm going to give you the layman uh, definition here. Um, skills are a group of notes that sound good together. Um, and there are several types of skills. There are major skills, minor skills, pentatonic, so on and so forth. But I think um, you should focus on major skills and minor skills. Um, but for me, I would advise you to just practice only major skills because when practicing major skills, you're automatically uh, practicing minor skills because every major skill has a relative minor. You can search on Google. Uh, but um, what I'm trying to say is, for example, um, C, um, for C major, A minor is the relative minor of um, C major. For C sharp major, B flat minor is the relative minor. So I advise you to focus on learning your major skills first. And um, for you to practice them, um, watch this video on your screen. The link will be in the, in the description too. Um, I think you should follow his technique. So after watching this video, you should go and watch this video on how to practice your skills. The next are chords. So what are chords? Um, again, I'm going to give the layman definition. I'm not a classical musician. But um, chords are harmonic combination of three or more musical notes played together. And there are so many types of chords. But I think you should focus um, on major, minor, and diminish chords first. But as a beginner, you should focus on um, major and minor first though. Um, then maybe later you can add practicing um, the diminish, diminish chords. Um, this video on your screen is going to teach you how to practice your major and minor skills. I'm sorry, <laughs> major and minor chords. And um, yeah, so let's go to the next one. Well, the next thing to learn is um, Chord progressions, yeah. So, what are chord progressions? Chord progressions are a series of um, chords played in a row. I like to call chord progression the body of the song. You know, like chord progression gives a song um, richness and character, and uh, determines if your song will sound happy or sound sad. Um, so, I 
think you should be practicing chord progressions really well and it's really really easy and as you're practicing you can just search on youtube chord progression for beginners there are a lot of chord progressions over simple chord progression that you can be practicing too so let's go let's go over to the bonus tips i will i will give you you know because learning piano can be boring sometimes so i'm going to give you some tips to be motivated firstly search for your favorite song your favorite songs so let's start with the song um let's go on youtube for for example my favorite song is um let's say um road wave believe believe me so i'll go on youtube how to play road wave believe me on the piano you know when you start learning your favorite song how to play your favorite songs on the piano uh, when you start learning them to keep you motivated when practicing and you can add those chord progressions you learn into your own songs so that's one way i always keep myself motivated even to this day um we practice me and my friend um Dumex, we practice um songs that we like you know it keeps us motivated so i really i really hope that this video um helped you if it helped you please like and subscribe and if you have any question put it down in the comments uh comment section and i'll try and answer everybody and um yeah so bye